Okay. Good morning, children. The chapter we are going to do today is the leaf, and from this chapter we are going to discuss the modifications of leaves. Okay. Now, what do you mean by the term modification? Now, mo the meaning of modification is an alteration or change for what? To uh, make something work better. Now, we know that the function of a leaf is to prepare food by the process of photosynthesis, right? But in addition to this, leaves they have other significances or importance or roles to play such as to provide support to the plant, a storage of food, then for defense or to protect the parts of a plant. So to perform all these spatial functions, the leaves are modified into a spatial form. So today we are going to discuss the three modifications of leaves, right? Number one is leaf tendril. <clears throat> then number two is leaf spine and number three is scale leaves. <clears throat> now what is leaf tendril? What type of modification is leaf tendril? Now in leaf tendril the leaves are modified into a thin thread like coiled structure and those structures are called tendril. So let me show you tendril actually. So these are the tendrils. See this one. This is a leaf tendril. These are actually the leaf only which are modified into a thin uh, thread like coiled structures and these are called leaf tendrils. So here also you can see these are leaf tendrils. So this type of modification of leaf like leaf tendril is found in the plants which has weak stems, okay, especially climbers. Now you know what type of plant is climbers. Their stem is so weak that they need uh, a support to grow, right. So to give them the support, these leaves are modified into a tendril. So these tendril, how do they support the leaf? So this tendril, they stretches out, okay, and uh, climb or twines around the nearby stick or wall to provide support to the plant. And you can see this tendril in the pea plant also. Then the next modification of leaf is the leaf spine. Now leaf spine, in certain plants, the leaves are modified into a sharp pointed structure called spines okay and these spines these spines they act as defensive structure so here this is a rose plant and you can see that pointed structure sharp structure which are called spine okay and the spine they act as defensive structure so these are the spine which act as defensive structure so how do they defense the plant so these spines specially protect the plant from grazing animals. And the second function of the spine is to reduce the loss of water by the process of transpiration. Now what is transpiration? Now transpiration is uh, the excess water, the process of uh, the excess water which is released in the form of water vapor through the stomata present on leaves. So that will be reduced by the spine. So spatially you can see uh, the function of the spine to reduce the loss of water especially in the plants which will get uh, which will not get enough of water. So I can give you the example of the place like deserts. Now desert it is a place where there is scarcity of water and the plants will not get enough of water for their survival. So in those cases and the most common example of the plant is the cactus which is also called a punsia cactus. So the cactus they have spines actually they are the modified leaves and these spines will reduce the loss of water. 
so that that water can be used by the plants for their survival. Alright, then the third uh, modification of leaf is the scale leaves. Scale leaves. Now, these scale, the function of these scale leaves is to protect the birds and to store food and water. So, in some plants, the leaves are modified into scale leaves. So, what is the function of the scale leaves? The function of the scale leaves, the number one function of the scale leaves is to protect the axillary birds which are present in the axil of a plant. And the second function of the scale leaves is to store food and water. And the most common example of the plants whose leaves are modified into scale leaves is the onion, right? So let me show you the onion. This is the onion. So these onion, as you can see, these are, this is how uh, their leaves are modified into scale leaves, all right? So this is how. These are the scale leaves. Actually, these are modified leaves and which will store food and water. And in onion, the scale leaves are thick and fleshy so that they will store water and food. And another example of the scale leaf is the ginger. In case of the ginger, the scale leaves are dry and thin, right? So this is the modification of leaves in normal plant. Now we are going to discuss the modification of leaves in insectivorous plants, okay? So if you see the modification of leaves in insectivorous plants, then there are three types of insectivorous plants. Three types of insectivorous plants and they are Peacher plant, okay, and the next one is bladderwort, and the third one is Venus fly trap. These are the insectivorous plants. Now, what do you mean by the term insectivorous? Insectivorous plants are also called uh, carnivorous plants. Now you know the term carnivorous. Carnivorous means those organisms, those animals which will eat the flesh, the meat as their food. So not only the animals only are insectivorous, I mean carnivorous animals, but there are some plants which are also carnivorous in nature. So, insectivorous plants are insect eating plants. So, these insectivorous plants, uh, they get most of their nutrients from trapping and consuming animals, especially insects. So, how do they attract the insects then? Now, these insectivorous plants, they are bright and has shiny appearance. So, because of the bright colors, the insects can easily get attracted towards them, okay? So, once the insects get attracted towards them, they will be trapped by the trapping device where the leaves of these insectivorous plants are modified into a trapping device. So, they will trap the insects and they will digest them by releasing some juice by the leaves. So that's why let's discuss the uh, modification of leaves in insectivorous plants. The first one is the peacher plant, right? Now, peacher plant, the leaf of a peacher plant. Now, let me show you. Suppose this is a peacher plant. Now, actually the normal leaf, the normal leaf in the plant you can see like this. Isn't it? The normal leaf is like this actually, but the same leaf in insectivorous plant. Now let me draw first. Okay. Okay. Now think that this is insectivorous plants. Okay, so this is a peacher 
plant. So what happened in peacher plant? The main, uh, the leaf of the peacher plant is modified into a trapping device with a lead, with a lead, okay? And it looks like a peacher, all right? So what is this lead actually? This lead, it is the extension of the leaf apex. Now what is leaf apex? The tip of the leaf is called the leaf apex. This is leaf apex. So in case of the peacher plant, this leaf apex will extend to form a leaf. That is how the leaves are modified. Okay. So and each leaf has a petiole. Petiole, it is the stalk which will attach the leaf to the stem. So in case of the peacher plant, the petiole is modified into a tendril. Again, the same tendril, the coiled a thread like structure. And you know the function of the tendril is to provide support to the leaf. So the ten, this leaf stalk is pro, uh, modified into a tendril to give support to the leaf and the leaf apex is modified into a lead. All right. So what happens when the insect <coughs> any insect enters through the opening through the opening then the lead close and the insect will get trapped then the plants the, they will digest the insect by releasing some juice by the leaf so this is how the peacher plant will get the nutrients from the insect that's why they are insectivorous plant now the second insectivorous plant is the bladder wart now in case of the bladder wart now what happens is the leaves are divided into segments forming a bladder like structures and it, these bladders they have openings. So once the insect enters through the bladders what happens they will get trapped and the insects they cannot exit then they will be digested by the leaf. Alright then the third one is Venus fly trap. Now Venus fly trap, what happens? The leaves are especially the margin. Now what is margin? The age of the leaf is called the margin, right? So in case of the Venus fly, fly trap, the age is, uh, is it, it has a small, you know, like hair modified into a pointed, sharp hair-like structure. Venus fly trap. And the lamina, lamina is divided into two parts one and two two parts where the midrib act as the hinge you know what is the hinge the hinge in case of the doors and the windows they will help the doors or the windows to close and to open so in venus flytrap the midrib act as a hinge so once the insect touches the pointed hair like structure then the leaf will snap shot okay trapping the insect inside them okay then that will be again digested by the in, uh, leaf this is how the leaves are modified in insectivorous plants so thank you children